so in today's video we are going to install um, not install that will be another video uh, we are going to assign um, office 365 license to a user so I'm going to show you how to assign a license to a user it's pretty easy uh, we got a glimpse of when we created the account online so let's get that in enhanced mode so I hope we are already logged in portal so let's go to portal and admin center so the browser has saved my credentials it makes life easier right so it's the familiar uh, iconic um, our dashboard uh, you see the active directory was lost in 23 hours ago um, let's do an experiment uh, meanwhile where I want to see something what I want to see is that if that is Azure AD connect automatically syncs or do you have to go and run it all the time if you have to run all the time that will be not so efficient while it's connecting let's go to so in order for us to assign a license a license are assigned to a user and not a computer so we go to user tabs and then active user and here we have the list of users all the user that uh, we have so you see admin has a license and Ali has one because we gave it to him but the next one is I don't know if uh, let me check something if if it is this Aslan is a admin then I'm not gonna give him the um, license like I need to see which one which of this is the admin cause I have another video in mind uh, that I've made the blueprint so for that I need one of this account so let's quickly log into our server and check out our server manager and tools Active directory and users. So I don't know if I have to run it all the time or it's automatic. So let's see as an H first properties member of. So he's just a domain user. So uh, the username that is as an H is just a user and the here. So let's find if but he's a member of he's a domain user as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make uh, one of them or let's forget it. I know there's another admin already here. Alright, so first one, first term first term, let's go with this one. So we're gonna give him a license. So if I unclick it, we can go to manage product licenses manage product licenses it's up to you so let's click here and see what happens sign in allowed so with this he can sign in I can allow I can issue him a license right here set the location to United States or whatever country he is in Uh, give him a license I have 23 left uh, there will be all licenses or what based on when I turn it on but I want to see if there's another way 
manage same thing appears so they it's not like you go to another page it's right here so his location is United States yes we gave him a license you see the number uh, is de decremental so it decreases the number if I uncheck it we get the license back so this is how if we want to if this user leaves we come here and uncheck it and uh, for example he he starts working today I give him the license he gonna work it for the next six months after six months uh, when he's leaving I can just come and take out the license so that way we are not paying Microsoft for this license because it's per user based and if the license is not used we are not paying for it and this is all the um, license licenses uh, associated with this one license and he has access to all of them this one is uncheckable because we haven't set up the MDM yet this one is grayed out so it's uh, it's universal to everybody right now because it it's an organization level so we cannot take it away from him it's just a search thing so all the other blue check we can take it away from him if we want to for example Yammer it's a um, Yammer is a new um, I am message or uh, team collaboration thing so right now we are using Skype at our uh, um, organization so basically it's one on one on one or in a group chat but Yammer is like uh, for the business oriented because Skype everybody uses it you can download it and start using it with your friends and family so for example you want to take anything out for this user so he cannot use it you can do it from home for example you don't want him on Yammer simply uncheck it he will not be but since um, we get losing a license so we're gonna give him access to everybody it's like uh, uh, the system admins or the department decides what tools a department within a department can utilize for example a uh, text professional will have different needs than IT professionals or accountants or all that or sales so it depends on what department they are working on and what did what they need and what they don't so you see I clicked uh, and it's giving me a green ch oh, sorry a check mark let's go and we're done that's it so he signed and allowed this one is his account information so if we go here and manage is is this one is just a username even though it's uh, it looks like an email address and it is but right now email is not active we haven't set that up yet he's not part of a group yet we haven't designed any he is uh, just a user no administrator administrator ro roles have given to him uh, if you know if you want to know or if you have to watch the video when we created the uh, how to add a user video so you will see that what roles can be applied so we discussed everything so this is office activations we can okay. so this one here if they go and install or uh, install app and then sign in then that application gets activated and it will be listed here haven't ha, does not have this activated on any device so we have given him uh, the uh, license yet the right now so now we expecting him to within next few hours to a day uh, that he can start using it but we have given him access so we if we want we can come and see what device they are using but that's for troubleshooting purposes so whatever their device they use it will be listed here so multi-factor authentication is the, if uh, you all know that that authenticator while well, either you receive a text message or you receive a code on your phone uh, via an app so devices is same so if uh, like they have devices that they enroll in Intune that's for this 
license and apps was that we went through to mail this user does not have an exchange online license so that was i was talking about even though that this looks like an e uh, uh, email address it's not active yet it's just a username and if you send an email to it it will not go into an inbox there's none yet so we're gonna see in that in a video and obviously so if they set up a OneDrive they have to do it themselves so this is a quick overview of how to sign license to a user if we go here you see that now he is licensed so this is how you assign a user office 365 license within the portal if this video helped you in any way form and shape please uh, comment share subscribe and you have a good day all right so i wanted to show you uh, i hope i haven't messed it up but uh, as soon as the servers was running up directly synced automatically so you don't have to go and run azure ready connect as long as it's tall and running it will automatically keep your uh, content um, or users synced up all right so that was just a last minute note thank you bye